Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Asmagon. And I'm a bit late to this one, but I'm still wanting to make a video about it because I have been covering the Trench Crusade stuff. Uh, Trench Crusade now has a dedicated Discord, which you can find linked on their website. Yes, there is a Trench Crusade specific website. Feel free to check it out over there and, and find the link. But um, I can't say I necessarily recommend it over the 28 Discord. Uh, you're slightly less likely to get banned for breathing incorrectly, I think. But that being said, I'm pretty sure this one is still being modded and managed by quite a few of the 28 Discord mods. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I only just joined it, and from what I can tell, the mods I, I've eyeballed, the Apostles or whatever they're listed as here, they seem to be new people as opposed to the ones that I recognize from the 28 Discord, but that could... I, I don't know. I don't know. If they're just different people from over there. But regardless, the new Trench Crusade Discord has the following rules which you are required to agree to. A lot of Discords have that, so that's nothing new. But they have these rules here that are listed that you must agree to before you're allowed to engage in any kind of direct conversation with other people about the wonderful new hobby, or was hoping to be a wonderful new hobby, of Trench Crusade. So, it says, Greetings, Wanderer. Pledge your oath. Trench Crusade Proclamation of Adherence. Please read and acknowledge from the following. And I'm going to skip the first one and get to two and three. Because those are like the, those are, the, well, two, three, and four. Two, be kind and courteous. We're all in this together to create a welcoming environment. Let's treat everyone with respect. Healthy debates are natural, but kindness is requested in, uh, is required in all cases. Now, for the most part, I can, I can respect this. I mean, it's a straightforward, hey, just be kind, be respectful, be a decent person when you're engaging in the talks about this hobby. Makes sense, I get it, and uh, I kind I actually kind of support that kind of rule. A little fluffy on the words, but eh. Uh, three, no bullying in polit or, or political topics. Now this, when you just read the first part, three, no bullying or political topics. Sounds great to me. I mean, uh, a, a hobbyist discord about a specific hobby or a fandom, why would you want people coming in and bringing real-world politics into it? Why would you want them to come in and start spreading propaganda about a given political side? That makes sense. You know, you don't want uh, you know want you don't want progressives coming in and giving their politics. You don't want conservatives doing that. It's not a space. It's not a political soapbox. Your your hobby space is not for real-world political themes and debates and discussions. It is all should be all the conversations should be directed at the hobby itself. Makes perfect sense. Tell you read the fine print. Bullying of any kind. <clears throat> Sorry, still recovering from the old strip. Bullying of any kind is not allowed, and degrading comments about any personal characteristics or abilities will not be tolerated. Real world political topics will be removed immediately, and are grounds for probation slash bans. Makes sense, and I respect that rule. We welcome people of all walks of life in our LGBT. Oh, here we go. We all welcome all people of walks of life in our LGBTQ friendly slash welcoming. So much for no politics. People's sexuality slash gender are not political. I would agree. Unfortunately, progressives don't agree. They make it about every aspect of their life. And whenever you criticize typically the LGBTQ, whether it's about a topic to do with the LGBTQ plus or not, what's the first thing they go to? Well, you're just transphobe. You're just a sexist. You're just a homophobe. It's the first thing they go to every time. So they have intertwined their identity with politics constantly. So sorry to break your delusional iceberg you're, you're around, but um, simply mention the LGBTQ plus and being like, hey, we're an LGBTQ friendly show. Just say you're welcoming all people. Why specify? Because that's already given the implication that there are groups that you're not welcoming to. Why not be blanketed? Say, hey, we're cool with everybody. Just leave it at that. People who just happen to be LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ plus IA, whatever the fuck. The alphabet community should feel included in that. Why are you specifying? Why are you going out of your way to mention them? To virtue signal. To pander. For political brownie points. So this whole rule is a hypocritical lie. No bullying or political topics. Now let us go out of our way to specify this group which has intertwined itself with politics. Rather than be blanketed and say, we are welcoming to all people. 
Why specify? We know why. Them wanting to one oh oh them wanting to wonder how that looks in the what a weird sentence. Them wanting to wonder how that looks in the universe is not political. Um, yes, it is because the reason that they're bringing it up is they also want to use it as an avenue to jump off of and push other real world politics into the hobby. To make that statement that oh they're just wondering how the LGBTQ why would you bother highlighting them in the world? Their sexuality should have nothing to do with what goes on in Trench Crusade. Bro, it's humans versus demons. It's the church versus hell. Why are they bringing up gender uh, gender identity at all in regards to that? That's not part of the themes of Trench Crusade, as you guys have established. The reason they're asking is not because they actually think it's going to be some kind of thematic coverage by your universe. They're asking because they want you they want you to be like, oh, well, well we're absolutely going to cater and, and and bend over backwards and open our gaping asshole for you. That's what they want to hear. They want to make sure that you're being a submissive little rat. You don't see any straight people coming in going, how are you going to represent the straight community? It's not part of the themes. Not that I've seen. Unless I missed a huge part of the uh, advertisement for this game or the conversation of this game and a big thing being in the story about gender identity. And if so, that would have been a red flag for me to begin with. But that is not at all seeming like that's part of the identity of Trench Crusade. The reason that they're bringing it up is entirely political. And to pretend otherwise is to be ignorant. Or dumb. Or both. We will not tolerate racism, homophobia, or xenophobia of any kind. Fair enough. Post what... Uh, of course... These days, all those terms don't really mean much. Because, um, what's racism nowadays? I don't agree with this person. Well, you're white, and they happen to, be, happen to be black, and I've noticed this, and you haven't, but somehow that makes you racist. You racist! Again, these terms just don't mean anything anymore. Racism, homophobia, or xenophobia of any kind. Post what you love, not what you hate. People do both all the time. That 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 one is kind of... I get what they're going for, but it's a weird line. Because it's post what you love, not what you hate. But people post both all the time. Sometimes they use one to lead into the other. Like, they'll post about something that they hate. At, you know, just to share it and talk about it with other people. And then, like, kind of steer the conversation into something positive. That happens all the time. That's just weird. And plus, that... There's a... I, I know this isn't what they intended. But that also can come off as you saying, we don't want criticism. Post what you love, not what you hate. Well, what if someone has a huge is criticism has a huge criticism with your game, and they're like, "Hey, the rules of the game are kind of fucked here. I really hate this. Can you guys fix it?" Are we only ever supposed to post about what we like with Trench Crusade, and we can't ever be like, "Hey, there's a problem with this. Can you fix it?" Because with a line like that in the rules. One could argue that the mods would then be able to use this as part of the actual rule itself and being like, hey, this person's posting negatively, not even about politics or anything, but they're just posting negatively. And they're being hateful. Ban them. And then the next rule, no propaganda. I have a feeling that this is going to be very one-sided. We welcome fans of Trench Crusade regardless of creed, but promoting any real-world ideology is not allowed. Unless it's LGBT, LGBTQI, IA. Unless it's progressive ideology. Then we can get, let it slide, you know? It's the right politics. The correct politics. Now, of course, the rest of the rules are entirely fair. No piracy or sales. No posting or animating images and GIFs. I don't know what that one's about. As we adjust to the new space, we would like to limit the, and dissuade the use of GIFs in animated media. I Posting these will warrant disciplinary response from... That one's a weird one. Like... Rules 3 and 4, that it's pretty clear what they're doing there, but this one's weird to me. Like, on my own Discord, and every Discord I've ever owned, I've never made a rule against animated GIFs. Like, it, it, it could be sometimes a very comedic and fun way to, like, express yourself that an, a single emoji isn't enough to do. Like, I can understand making a no-spamming GIF rule, but the... 
I know I'm nitpicking here because we've already covered like <laughs> this is far more important, but I, I I'm a nitpicker. This is a weird one to me. No posting animated gifts. Like at all? Like why? <laughs> that seems like a dumb rule. Like an entirely dumb rule. I guess in the face of rules three and four, it's it's the no it's small potatoes, but it's still a dumb rule. It's like you're not allowed again. No spamming gifts makes sense. None at all. Seems silly. Okay, not my Discord, and uh, not one I intend to stick around for. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to be leaving this Discord like immediately. I heard there is a, a fan trench crusade that has been made. Um, if I am able to find the link to it, I will share that in the description. Not the link to this one, for obvious reasons. Uh, they've, unfortunately, it seems like they're just emanating the 28 Discord, but they're just, for some reason, making a more specific one to them. It seems trashy. Uh, I'm not sticking around. As it is, I, I just don't think I'm sticking. I'll probably pick up Trench Crusade as far as, like, what I can get on the web for free. Like, whatever ways I can take from Trench Crusade without giving them any money, I will. Like, if I find the PDFs of the rules, I'll get that. If I could find fan STLs of their models, uh, I'll probably print those off on my own. I, 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 will, I have no intention of supporting the Trench Crusade devs. As far as I'm concerned, they have made their uh, political standing quite clear. And the sad part is they're pretending not to be taking a side and to be playing neutral and all this crap. But then they're doing everything in their power to make it quite clear that they are biased to one side. They will let that side get away with everything ad nauseum. And they have supported the 28 mag mods who were banning people for giving them bad vibes. I can't imagine anyone will last on this server any longer than the 28 Discord server. So look for the fan Trench Crusade server. Don't support the Trench Crusade devs. They don't deserve it as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Bye-bye.